Hey, beautiful people, you are welcome. Thanks for joining. So you want to move to Canada, right? This is a new immigration program to move to Canada and the requirements are quite low. And that is why I'm bringing it to you. So, you know, every anyone can apply for this if you just meet the requirements. So if it's your first time here, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Jackie and right here I share info to assist you to move abroad, right? So please subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notification bell. So every time I come live, you'll be notified and you get to join us. All right. And also to returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate all the support. Please give the video a thumbs up as you're here. Please hit the like button, all right? Give the video a thumbs up. Please, it helps to support the channel. And also drop a comment as well and share the link with your family and friends so they can get to join us, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So before we go into it, let me share this opportunity with you guys. If you want to earn extra income, you want to make as much as $1,000 every month passively, then you can start a publishing business on Amazon KDP, all right? And the way I do it is that I publish public domain books. So I didn't write the books. You don't need to write any book. You don't need to edit. It's already formatted edited and ready to publish on amazon kdp so all you need to do is buy these manuscripts from stackley all right i have links in the description box to buy your manuscripts and it comes with free training as well stackley is going to give you free training to start your amazon kdp business and you can also join um a kdp group as well so after buying your manuscripts you send me an email and i will add it to the kdp group of publishers from around the world and the group okay it's always really amazing so all you need to do buy your manuscripts get your free training and upload your manuscripts on um, Amazon KDP and it sells to a global audience, all right, and get paid every month directly to your bank account. So it's really, really amazing. All right, so check the, the links in the description. And if you don't know where that is, just send me an email. And also, if you need any of my services, maybe you want me to assist you to review your CV so you can apply for jobs overseas, you can also send me an email for that. Or you need want to talk to me over a call, you can send me an email for that as well. I also have all the links in the description box, you know, for my services. If you want me to assist you to apply for a visa, I can do that for you as well. All right, so do send me an email. Okay, so Canada, right, this is a new, program that was announced okay um IRCC that is immigration refugees and citizenship Canada introduced two new immigration pilots right for rural and French minority communities so there are two of them and they've announced this so in a, in the press conference you know they announced these two separate programs there are two of them all right if you're looking at permanent residency for canada then these are two programs that you can actually take advantage of all right so one is actually for people that can speak french and i know people, people here speak french as well but not so many so we're just going to talk about the other one that is for everyone all right but there's one for french as well maybe i'll touch on that one a little bit depending on the time that we have ircc explained that this decision to introduce these two new pilot programs will help attract and retain skilled foreign workers in rural and francophone minority communities contributing to their economic linguistic economic and linguistic vitality all right so both of these programs are currently on pace to launch later this year all right it's just been announced they've not said exactly when it's going to launch but i do believe that it could be like august because of um the existing rural and northern immigration pilots is going to come to an end this july so i'm thinking that immediately after this one comes to an end they're going to start the other two that's what i'm just thinking but they're going to announce that later all right so let me just give you details about this so you can prepare you know for it all right because it's just like maybe a month away depending on when they decide to start so just be ready so once it opens up you can be one of the people first to apply all right Okay, so let me see what details I can share here. Okay, the first one is called Rural Community Immigration Pilot, right? So according to IRCC, this one is a way to ensure that rural communities are able to access programs that address labor shortages and help local businesses find the workers that they need. All right, so all these... um. There are some communities in Canada that foreign 
workers don't usually go to and these communities came together to say look we also need workers right there's level shortage we need workers the employers here need workers so they've come up with these programs to attract foreign workers to those particular communities so let's let's read it from the beginning shall we Canada announces new immigration pilots to support rural and francophone minority communities and will create a permanent program. The rural community immigration pilots will launch in the fall of 2024. All right. So it is going to launch later this year and uh, modeled on the success of the rnip that is a rural and northern immigration program i've talked about this program on my channel like i did several videos about it the communities you can go to where to get jobs and things like that and i'm going to be doing the same thing in this video right i'm going to show you where to get jobs and everything you just just stay with me we are going to get a lot of info right here in this video so please just give the video a thumbs up all right just give the video a like if you're liking it already if you're finding value please hit the like button it helps the channel a great deal thank you for the support so the pilot will focus on increasing the number of french speaking newcomers settling in francophone minority communities outside of quebec and will help ensure the economic development of francophone minority communities while also helping to restore and increase their demographic weights so let me just give you an idea of what to expect based on the rnip right based on that one let me just show you what to expect for the new one even though it may not be like exact same thing so eligibility requirements for the rnip is what you're seeing right now on the screen right so to be eligible for this program you must meet the minimum requirements outlined below intend to live in the community so the community that is going to be accepting you you must intend to actually live in that community you're going to be restricted to live and work in that community for a certain number of years before you can think of moving to another part of canada and this is because that community is actually the one inviting you to come right they are the ones sponsoring your visa so to speak okay they're going to nominate you to apply for your permanent residency so obviously they can't be the ones to do the work for you and then you now go to another community to settle right they're the ones welcoming you so you must intend to actually settle in that community all right and then work experience if if you graduated from a canadian public post-secondary institution in the community you may be exempt from the work experience requirements but i'm sure most people if not everybody you know would not have had any post-secondary education in any of these communities but if you have good for you so you don't have any work experience requirements but if you're an international student right you will need to have um work experience of at least one year of full-time experience within the last three years right and it can be full-time or part-time right and the occupation must be in the national occupational classification an important thing about the pathway is that you may be required to have a job offer first in the community that you want to move to but like i said right they've not like given all the information for these rural community um, immigration pilot yet but these are the ones for the existing rnip right let me make this bigger so you can see north bay in ontario moose jaw in saskatchewan so there are many there are about four communities here in ontario alone north bay sudbury thunder bay and timmins right and then for saskatchewan we have only moose jaw and then for british columbia there's vernon and west kootenay and um we also have in Brandon, Manitoba, and Clearstrom in Alberta as well. Where to find jobs in these communities? You can either go to the websites for these provinces. Ontario has their website for jobs. Saskatchewan has theirs as well. British Columbia has theirs. I think I've done a video about the job board in Saskatchewan. Um, yeah, I've done for Saskatchewan. I'm very sure about that. So you can just go to that website and then look for the ones that are in Moose Jaw. All right. Or you can just check in the Canadian Job Bank and search. Okay. You can just search for the particular um, community, the jobs that are in that community. Right. 
Moose jaw. Yeah. Let's do the search again. So it's now out. So this is a moose jaw now. So we have um 249 jobs have come up. So you can see these jobs are in moose jaw. So you can apply for these ones, right? This is administrative assistant, sales assistant. You can even see more info to be sure that it's open to those outside. Okay, this particular one is not open. That's what I wanted to show you guys. So the ones that are not open, you're going to see this red sign here. So you can know that one is for people that are already in Canada only. So you have to check for the ones that are for people outside. Yeah. So this one is for people that are outside of Canada. So this is, you can see it's different. This has a world, you know, icon here. And you can see the employer accepts applications from Canadian citizens and permanent or temporary residents of Canada, other candidates with or without a valid Canadian work permit, right? So that one is open to everyone. Okay, so I've just given you guys an idea of how to do this. You've seen how to find the jobs yourself, right? So you can do this for yourself. And this also applies to other um, immigration programs as well. You can come here to get jobs for any other immigration program. Or even if it's not an immigration program, you can just come here, get a job straight up and apply for your you know, work permit and everything and just move down to Canada direct. It doesn't have to be through an immigration program if you're looking for work in canada you want to move on a work visa right just come here and get your job i know many people that have got some jobs here i've shared that you know on the channel several times you know people are really getting jobs from job banks so you can check that out so don't forget if you want to start a publishing business it's like a very good opportunity to make extra income you can from this business save money to even move abroad right and it, it would also help you with your living expenses while abroad and even while you're in your country okay because let's let's just see this scenario you're going to be earning in pounds dollars euros okay and let's say you're living in a country like nigeria where one dollar is 1600 naira let's say you make even if it's 100 dollars a month and you're living in nigeria that is a hundred and sixty thousand naira extra income every month to help you with your living expenses okay so that is just putting it very modest but you can make as much as a thousand dollars okay so there are three uh, manuscript packs there is 60 a pack of 60 manuscripts a pack of 150 manuscripts and a pack of 300 right so i did one of 300 so i highly recommend it but obviously you can do what you can afford any one of them you do it it's still okay amazon is like the biggest e-commerce platform so you know that it's gonna like last okay <laughs> so your your one book let's say one one manuscript that you're buying is going to sell 1 million copies 100 million copies just from that one that you bought so you can just see the potential of what you stand to gain by starting this business it's really amazing so I highly recommend it. So check out the links in the description box to buy your packs or send me an email and also do further research if you have other questions about it. You can still do your research. It's a global business. People are doing it from all around the world, all right? So it's something you can do as well if you're interested in passive income, something you can do on the side and um, make money every month. Okay. Next side, thanks for joining. If you're just joining, please watch from the beginning. We are kind of done. I've shared everything already. So just watch from the beginning to get all the info. All right, so this is where we're going to stop for today. Let's meet again tomorrow, all right? Love you all.